What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Gat Talks. Today we are going to be doing a short review on the Y10 Fitness Tracker Smartwatch. This watch goes from anywhere between $30 to $40. We're going to take a look at if this watch is worth that price and how accurate some of the features it comes with are. Now if you guys have not yet already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as I will be coming out with new weekly videos on the latest gadgets, electronics, and smartwatches. If you guys do want to go ahead and purchase this watch after this video, you guys can use my affiliate link below, which will take you to eBay and trust the sellers and I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Now let's begin. So this watch is a very, uh, it's a little tinier of a smartwatch, but it does fit the size of a fitness tracker. Uh, for someone who just wants to take a watch or a fitness tracker to go work out and uh, still be wearing your gym or your workout clothes. But this does not seem like a watch I would like to wear out. Just as, you know, it's just way too small. It's got your, uh, you know, it's got a little bit above standard of a silicone band. And it does have some patterns to it. It comes in a variety of colors. And this is one of them. It's the gray color. And let's see how this actually looks on a wrist. Now oh, it's got that little uh, tight feeling to it. It does seem kind of small already on me. I would recommend this for ladies, uh, but I, you know, I don't like switching watches that often. I would rather just wear something to the gym. And still be able to wear it going out. Let's explore some of the functions that this watch comes with. It's going to come with your steps. This watch is a semi touch screen. What I mean by that is you can't just really touch anywhere on the screen and expect it to react. Uh, it's got this little lower section of the watch right here that you really have to press. And it only goes one direction. We're going to take a look at... Uh, it's just some of the functions that we can actually go through and test accuracy for. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be steps right now because we're sitting down. And distance traveled. Calories burned. We're going to take a look at the blood pressure monitor and how you will want to use it. You want to long press this button once you arrive at the function. And it should react soon. Let's give it a couple of seconds and see how accurate this thing is. It usually takes about 30 seconds for a standard watch to actually give you a reading. That's a little high for me. I expect myself to be somewhere, uh, you know, you shave about 20 off each of the numbers. I think this actually indicates to me that I'm in a little bit of a higher blood pressure right now, which I doubt because I'm in my 30s and I would think I am in pretty healthy condition. And then I've also... Uh, got readings from other smartwatches which are lower so i don't think i'm going to take this as an accurate answer let's check the heartbeat at least i would expect myself to be in the high in the high 50s or low 60s let's see what this is going to give us that's still a little high maybe it's just you know, how I have it on my wrist or something, but um, it seems like the readings I'm getting this watch from this watch is a little higher than I expect. So I am not going to trust it. Your sleep monitor. And that's basically for all the functions of this watch. Now, I'm going to give you my opinion on if this watch is worth the money. And I'm going to say no, because... Uh, there are better watches I've seen out there uh, that gives you a better look, that gives you a better reading. I'm not sure if just this watch in particular, not the entire model line, but this watch may be defective just based on the reading. But, you know, they can fluctuate quite a bit from watch to watch and depending on how you wear it as well. But I've seen better watches for its looks, for more accurate readings. Uh, one plus on this watch is that it actually comes with the blood pressure monitor, which you would find uh, very few watches out there for about the $30 range that comes with the blood pressure monitor. 
But other than that, the interface of this watch is not that great. I've seen better watch faces that this watch comes with, uh, that watches comes with in this price range. And this is just a very basic watch. I would get this watch for under $30, but anything over, you can get, you can get yourself something better. So this wraps up the video of this Y10 Fitness Tracker smartwatch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and follow my channel. I'll see you guys next time.